day one of my vacation again at the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. Just arriving in the refuge now. It's cloudy and cold today, but it's supposed to be sunnier and warmer all the rest of the week. Heading over to Doris Campground. That's the only public campground. Well, it's the only public campground in here. There's a uh, like a Boy Scout campground over by the headquarters, but that's not for just general use. Here for today is Sunday, March the 10th, and all I've got until next Sunday. I've got the whole week here. So just heading in now. Typically, I you know I do a lot of videos for YouTube, but yeah, I do generally videos of individual hikes. This time, I'm just going to make a video for the whole week, sort of like a video journal, just with highlights here and there, interesting things. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off now. The refuge here is better known for their buffalo, but they've also got free-roaming longhorn cattle that just uh, wander around out here. There's that one there. And there's one up on the hill there, and there's several more on the hill over there. I don't know how well you can see those. But you don't see these as much as the buffalo. There's a lot more of the buffalo, but right now I can see about 10 of these guys out here wandering around. But the buffalo are much cooler after all. Who hasn't seen a cow, even if it does have horns? Of course, that's not to degrade cows. Cows are fine creatures, but you can see cows in lots of places, but these are actually the longhorn steer, but hey, it doesn't compare to a buffalo, at least to me. I've got this new camera. Bought me a, a, a Nikon L610. It's a, oh, a medium budget. You know, I mean, it's not anything big and grand, but it's got the full HD. It should be as good as my phone without having to use my phone. Although, the controls are a little clumsy. Anyway, this is home for the next few days. The, you're probably hearing some wind noise, and I apologize for that, but it's very windy today. The weather for the rest of the week is supposed to be very nice. It's supposed to be sunny and warm the rest of the week, but today it's very cold. It's about 40 degrees. It's very windy. Uh, this is the same camps that we use most of the time. There's some people here today. There's some people over there. And, uh, there's some over there. This new camera, I'm not sure. I'm trying to see. I'm not sure if this is optical zoom or digital zoom on this thing. It's got plenty of optical zoom on the camera itself, but for the video, I'm not sure how this zoom works. hike a little bit and I'm not as I said this week is I'm just gonna take like a video for the whole week kind of do like a video journal I'll show you anything interesting I run across but I got a little baldy right over here and uh, this is where I'm headed right now it's just like one o'clock in the afternoon sun sets at 7 30 now because this is the first day of daylight saving time so I've got plenty of time there's not much else to do right now. It's not like you can just sit here and enjoy the weather. It's just way too... I mean, wind chills are in the 20s. So, I'm going to go ahead and make some heat and get hiking. This is interesting. I'm actually over here in a park. I'm hiking west of um, Little Baldy. You can see Little Baldy right from the distance. I'm about... Oh, it's got a straight line about a mile from here. Um, there's a gorge that goes this area it goes over to Burford Lake and Lost Lake. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting. You see right here where the, the gorge starts. I mean, just 50 feet over there, and it's just solid ground. But then, you know, here's this gorge that cuts through the ground. And you've got this big pine tree growing down. Well, that's the, that camera is pointed almost. This neat course starts. And 
just gets deeper and deeper and it just winds on off into there in the distance. That one video I did last time, I the, the uh, five mile cross country hike, I like five miles by road and I had to climb down into the gorge and climb up the other side. That's that gorge. And it just kind of works its way all the way over there and then takes a right. That's the Oak Mountain you see in the way distance. You see, let me check out the accidentally hit that. They got this this new camera here. It has a dedicated movie button. You hit it, the movie stops, but if you accidentally hit it a second time, well, the movie stops. Anyway, that's Elk Mountain. That's way off in the distance. I thought I'd show you this. I'm not detailing any particular hike on this video. This is just, you know, like a video journalist. I'm just out, just out hiking just for the heck of it. It's just I hadn't noticed this gorge before. Well, it's either, it's got to be buffalo. So I wasn't 100% sure if it was a buffalo or a longhorn cow. There's the hoof. Man, this thing has been Sometime this week I'll make it over at the uh, ranger station and I'll ask him about this, man. That thing, yeah, somebody is chowed down. There's bones scattered in various places. I wonder what ate it. I mean, there's, uh, I, I know there's coyotes out here. I hear them howling. I guess they, I'm not sure what else it'd be. Wow. That's yeah, buffalo, obviously. About 50 feet, it's over there. I'm right here. See a hoof, and it's still got some of the buffalo. See the brown fur attached to it. I'll talk to you as I ate this thing. This time, I'm much farther south than I've been out here before. And there, the uh, clouds are breaking up. The sun's coming through a little. A little bit spots. I finally found a spot where the wind's not blowing like crazy because um, I'm on the other side of this hill here. I'm hiking over to uh, what on Google satellite says is Lost Lake. There's a road that goes back to Lost Lake so I don't guess it's all that lost. The nice thing about hiking out here is Little Baldy is straight that way. It's a little bitty hump you see right on the screen. So as long as you can see Little Baldy you know where you are. You know you really don't even have to look at a compass. And then there's a road you know, the highway that passes to the north of Little Baldy, and it passes east-west. So, I'm not doing too much today. All I'm doing is just taking a few miles, you know, heading over here a few miles in to this Lost Lake thing, and then I'll probably just, since there, that road there, I'm just going to hike up that road back to the highway, and then follow the highway back to the campground. Maybe, I don't know, five or six miles or whatever, just kind of having fun. I just came across, I rounded a hill over here and came across a whole herd of elk. Looked to be 10 or 12 of them. And they all looked to be full grown, although what was curious is they, uh, none of them had any antlers. I don't know if that means they're female, I mean I don't know anything about elk, I don't know if that means they're female, or maybe it's just the time of year that they're shed their antlers and growing new antlers. But man, there was at least 10 of them, maybe 12. I tried to get the camera out, but they were long gone. Because I just kind of came over a hill and started them, and they took off like lightning when they saw me. I'm trying to find them again, but I'm just going to tell them where they went to. I say I like to, uh, you know, hike so far and then just follow the road back. You know, I like to hike until I'm tired because this is what you're hiking on the whole time. The terrain is not really tough. It's just the footing. That one right there is the size of a soccer ball, and that's what a lot of this is. So that's what a lot of the hiking out here is. It's not, I mean, it's not a lot of up and down. It's just the footing's really difficult. So I'm trying to get over here. In fact, I can see, I think I'm almost on this road over here by Lost Lake. 
and I, oh, there they are. I see the, I see the elk. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see them. They're off over there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this, see if I can get closer. Well, I tried to get over here by where the elk were, but they took off again. I don't know if you were able to see them or not. I'll have to wait until I put this on my computer see if there's anything at all visible. There's this road that I was trying to get to. See, it's just right down there in the middle of the screen. I am... How far am I? Hey, for once, I can pull my uh, phone out. And see, I've got... I don't even see that I track myself. I don't know if you can see that at all. The blue marker is where that buffalo was, so I can find later. And uh, I'm, uh, huh, I'm at even three miles. So I've hiked three miles in this country here. And there's this road. So I'm just going to follow the road back to camp. And see, so you got, here's a nice view though. You got uh, Elk Mountain there in the distance. Really pretty out here. Oh, I wish I could have got closer to the elk. Man, those suckers are fast, obviously. Here's a good close-up view of a buffalo that you've seen in some other videos, but I'm playing with my new camera here trying to... He could care less that I'm sitting here, too. I mean, he could give a damn. He sees us all the time. He doesn't care. Another damn tourist, huh? He's just mounting away. There's a couple more there in the distance. I don't want to sit here too long though, I'm sitting here right in the road. I mean, he's, yeah, see here's the road, he's just right here. And he could care less that I'm here. Just before sunrise, morning of day two of my vacation. Sunrise, I'm not sure what time the sun comes up here. It looks to be maybe five minutes off. It's in the upper 20s right now, very cold. At least the wind has died down, at least at the moment. Looking forward to the sun coming up. Campground is just right down there below the, in the trees. I'm headed out, don't know where. We'll see. There is sunrise, day two, and glad to see it. By the end of the week, it's supposed to be in the upper 70s. Right now, it's in the upper 20s. Slept warm last night, but man, getting out of the tent, it is freezing cold out here. My hands hurt from just from holding this camera, so I'm going to hang this up. Just wanted to show you the sunrise. This trip, I'm not doing details of any one hike too much. Like I say, this is like a video journal for the whole week, but this is what I'm looking at, and I'd really like to get over on top of that peak there. There's a valley floor there. There's, I see a trail down there. This is where I'm just going to be hiking today. I'm not going to detail this particular hike or any other particular hike, but I'll just give you an idea. If this is my vacation. This is what I'm doing. I'm just hiking in these mountains here, hiking in and out of the valley floor, trying to find, you know, just doing a lot of rock climbing. It's going to be fun. The thing about this place is you're always coming on. I'm way south of uh, Little Baldy there. And like, see, there's, I don't know how well you can see it, but coming in just left and right, there's a trail. Well, you gotta be able to see it right there. There's a trail. It goes from left to right. I have no idea where that trail leads. I'm trying to work my way I'm just on in over into this area, way back in here. I don't know how well you can see on this as far as the dimensions but this thing there's just you know piles and piles I mean you get a, a ridge here and then a ridge here and then a ridge there and you just got to kind of snake your way in between them but I'm surprised at how many trails I find going back in here you know so I'm just kind of following some of the trails and just I'm trying to that's south so I'm kind of just trying to see how far south I can get you know I mean it's danger in this place is you have no phone signal here I'm hiking alone there's no one that really knows where I am. I have no phone signal. So, but then again, I mean, I've, ha I've 
I've done lots and lots of hiking. I'm not particularly worried, but this is a place you kind of want somebody with you. You know, definitely you'd want somebody that knows. I mean, I, there's somebody that knows where I am. If I don't report in, somebody will sound the alarm, but they're not going to know where to look. So i got to be very careful. And that's the danger out here is there's plenty of places to get lost and not a lot of places to be found. Whoa. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get across. Oh, hell. Well, I just figured out part of the zoom on this camera. You kind of preset the zoom before you hit the record button. There is a, uh, a long hair, long hair, long horn steer over there. You see him walking. He's making his way. <laughs> he was walking this way as I was sitting here trying to figure out how to get across this creek. I looked up and saw him, and he was walking this way, and he saw me, and then he just kind of stopped and stared at me for a little while. <laughs> now he's decided to go the other way. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to get across this uh, this creek I'm up against here. I've got the zoom set too high on this. I'm still trying to learn this camera. But, uh, so i got a big creek here. It's about 20 feet wide. I'm going to walk this way, see if I can get around it. I'll work my way over to where the steer was. I'm in a cool place here. And again, I've just been hiking pretty much due south. I made it across that stream. And it's hooking back around here again. I'm where the steer was, although I don't see the steer. It's getting neat because i got cliffs. Oh, you can see that cliffs on that side. And then I've got cliffs on this side. So I'm just kind of following this notch between the cliffs, seeing how far south I can get. I think there's a road all the way down south. Because you run into the... Uh, Fort Sill Military Reservation down there. I think there's a road before that. So today I'm just gonna work my way all the way south between these cliffs. I haven't been in this part before and it's cool. I gotta watch out though because I know that steer and probably his buddies are very close by. This is definitely a cool trail if you can find it. I can't really tell you how to find it. I just headed south from Little Baldy. But you know, I'm following, I got this creek to my right cliffs to the west and there's no way to get open over those things at least I wouldn't want to try it and then cliffs to the east so I'm just following this creek and this notch here through the cliffs and see what it comes out as I mentioned a road I looked at Google Maps I'm not anywhere near that road that mode that road is way way south so I'm just gonna keep going see where I end up well, I was eventually Oh, look at the... Well, that was neat. <laughs> that was unplanned. I eventually had to leave that creek. The trail kind of went up. Now here's where I am. The creek's down there in the valley. Look where I am. You know, I'm not sure where I'm going to go from here. There's a cave over there. Uh, you can see that. Oh, no, no way to get to the cave. It's way up in the cliff. I came from back in that, back down, that's still south, and man, I, uh, I'm not sure what's over here, I can't see around this corner here, oh, you got a better view right now than I do, so, I don't know, I, uh, I could work my way down there easy enough, that may be what I do, I see a trail, Oh, hey, I see a trail right down there in the valley floor. Right in the middle of the screen, going left and right, I see a trail. So that's what I'm going to try to work my way down to. I don't know how well you can see this. I got up to high enough that I, uh, I decided to climb up high and try to get a vantage point. And I also got a signal. So you see that little blue dot? That's actually a little blue arrow. I'm trying to get where you can see this better. Um, well, I know you can't see this. Hardly at all, but that's me. The blue dot's me in the midst of all this, uh, all the cliffs and everything. The green line down the middle of the screen whoop, is the uh, creek I was following. I hiked up to the top there, so the uh, you can see a yellow line there. That's the road to the east. That's the highway to the east. So I'm gonna kind of work my way south and. <laughs> I know you can't see this worth a damn, but uh, basically I'm in the midst of rocks and cliffs. I've got the highway to the east, and I also got a road 
there's that road down to the south. If I was to follow that creek all the way down, I'd get to that road. And then you got the military reservation. But I want to see if I can't follow that creek all the way south down to that road. And then I'll just hike over the highway. Then I'll follow the highway back up north again up here to the lake. And then I'll hike back over to the campground. That's the plan. You know, I said I wasn't going to detail any one hike, but it seems like that's what I'm ending up doing anyway. I'm kind of in a bad spot here. The creek's way down there. That's straight ahead. And the creek's way down there. I'm stuck up here on the side of this hill in the middle of all this scrub. I see no way to go forward. I see no way to go up. I may have to backtrack here. Boy, this is tough. Well, it made it down off the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how the heck I got up in there. I mean, I just... I don't know. I just found myself going up. I made it back down to the creek, and my creek is turned into... There's the creek. There's just barely a trickle. And I found the trail again down here by the creek. So, I want to keep heading south as far as I can. I mean, I've, I had said I wasn't going to detail any one hike. I just can't seem to help it. But I may just do it like a day-by-day -day thing. But, well, anyway. You know, a large part of the way in here, I was following a trail. But the farther I get in, the more the trail just disappears until it gets to a point where it's just gone. When I'm at a point now, I'm thinking about just <laughs> calling it a day as far as this hike. Because, I, I mean, there's just, that's straight ahead, there's the, I found the creek again, and it's just right here. Well, it's a beautiful little babbling brook, but I just, the walls are getting more sheer, and it's just scrub and broken trees. I've had to, I've been rock climbing and climbing over trees and everything to get to this point. I'm two hours plus, two hours plus just to get to this point if i keep going south it would take me another hour even if i could find a way through it would take me another hour at least just to get down there and that's just one way it would be three or four hours back because i'd have to work my way east over the road and then back up so i'm two hours plus so far into this thing it's been nice i mean it's gorgeous in here it's beautiful what i may do is um i know there's a road down there and I'm here the whole week. I may drive down to where that road is and see if I can hike north from there. Maybe I can find where the, you know, where the things intersect. But for now, it's taking me two hours plus to get where I am. I'm going to start heading back because I've got, I mean, this is going to be better than four hours as it is. And then it'll be time for lunch. And then more hiking this afternoon. But now I'm going to go back and by the time I get back, it's like 10 o'clock. By the time I get back, it'll be lunchtime. No idea how easy it is to get lost. The arrow is where I am now. The uh, orange line is the track I followed to get here from north to south. And you see where I came down following the creek. And then somehow I don't know how I managed to go up the side of this cliff face. And then I made my way along the cliff face until I got to that point there. Couldn't find a way through and climb back down to the creek to where I am now. That was on the way here. Whereas, right now, I'm trying to cut across, I'm just going to cut right across that. That's obviously the part I missed and did all this extra stuff up here on the side of the damn cliff. You know. And I don't see how, it looks to me, where I am, it's just easy enough to cut right across there. <laughs> Sometimes all you got to do is just take one wrong turn and you end up scrabbling around for half an hour. And doing, you know, just getting, just pointless, you know, just wandering around. Trying to find a trail. You know, it's funny, I'm back at this point. Remember this rock here? <laughs> when I was looking there, seeing the trail down there, you know, and it took me five minutes to get back to this point from where I shot that last little segment of video. Whereas before, I ended up going up here, you know, to the right, and over those rocks, over to that point over here, followed the side of the, uh, cliff face over to there until I got to a point that I couldn't get any further and then had to work my way down to the creek. It took me half an hour to do that. To get to a point where all I had to do is just go down right here and follow these rocks and then right across the creek to the same point. 
five minutes versus the half hour I did earlier just because I saw this section of trail there and I thought that must be the trail you know well although it was nice I mean this is a beautiful place I mean I made it uh, total distance I made it about a half mile in there from where I am I'm still fairly far south you know I've got a hike to get back but I made it about a half mile from this point and God it, it probably goes another mile mile and a half and then you got to work your way east maybe a mile and then it's three or four miles back up it's a bit further than I really anticipated you know maybe I wasn't really thinking yeah that's probably it I wasn't really thinking so but it is beautiful here I mean it's well worth it I mean so what if you kind of get lost I mean you don't really get lost here I mean you got a compass this place isn't big enough to really get lost you know, head north, head south, you know, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely getting on towards, you know, it, well, it's, it's 10.15, and I started, um, well, the sun came up at 7.45, I started about 7.30, so I've been out here about two hours and 45 minutes, and I still got at least an hour or more to get back. Well, you can see there, I know you can see that, those elk again, the ones without the antlers. And at least I was able to show you that I'm not imagining things. I'm going to try to get up to where they are, see if I can get a better shot at them. There they are, way off in the distance. Well, shoot. Again, they're gone. Man, those suckers are quick. There's one. I see one right there in the middle of the screen. He's looking back at me. He sees me. Oh, hell, they're gone again. It's hard to get those guys, man. You startle them and they take off. They are fast. But at least I got a little bit of video, so you know I am seeing them. I don't normally, I haven't seen those out here on this side before. And I've never seen elk without antlers before. It may be that they just drop their antlers and regrow them, you know, this time of year. And at least I caught some tiny little section of video of them. I'm not going to try to follow them, though. I mean, there's just... They're a lot easier, faster to this terrain than I am. Wow. Well, there's a little baldy. Before I am now, about, oh, 30 minutes from camp, 35. I came from the other side of that. And this is a uh, cool place, isn't it? So I say sometimes you gotta, you know, watch when you're hiking out here by yourself because there's so many places out here where you can, you know, have a bad fall and hurt yourself. The one time I, I've got to have a guardian angel that hikes with me. It's one time I catch my foot on a limb and fall. What do I fall in? A pile of leaves. It was like falling onto a pillow. <laughs> I mean, you don't often get to fall on something, you know, so soft. But, uh, and this is my last little video on this, unless I see some interesting animals again. I mean, I've got those elk a couple times from a distance. I just can't get close to them. You get close and, man, they're gone. I haven't seen any buffalo on this hike. I saw that one steer. I've heard turkeys gobbling, and you see their droppings everywhere, but I haven't seen any this morning. Well, here, I mean, look, there's turkey droppings. I'm standing right here with turkey droppings. But I haven't, I heard them, but I haven't seen them. I haven't seen any buffalo this morning on this particular hike. But I'm going to go ahead and make my way back, man. It's it's uh, getting on towards... I'm, I'm, I'm ready for lunch. It occurs to me if I want to call this, you know, these videos a journal for the week, I ought to include stuff besides hiking. Right now I'm getting my uh, firewood together. I didn't bother with the fire last night. It was too cold and windy. What I like to do, this is just a uh, little cheap uh, barbecue grill. I don't use it anymore, but I do use it for a fire pit. 
because it's uh, like 12 inches by 16 inches and I can make a real nice fire net without having to use a ton of firewood. If you use the whole ring, you end up with a very hot, very big fire that burns a ton of firewood real fast. So instead, I just like to use the fire pit. It makes a great fire, makes your firewood last. And all I'm doing is, uh, I just stopped on the way here and just filled up the back of my truck. I mean, there's a lot of broken wood around here. Ever since they had the ice storm here a few years back, wood is, I mean, it's not hard to find just wood. You know, so all I'm doing is pulling this stuff out and cutting it up with my saw viver. This thing weighs 11 ounces. It costs 40 bucks at Amazon. Extremely sharp, weighs 11 ounces. I mean, it's just feather light. It's a great survival saw. And my uh, Gerber... Um, wood cutting knife. This thing is a quarter of an inch thick. It's got the full tang. SCHF9 is the number on it. And it's just used for uh, splitting wood. I'm not using it much for this stuff. It's used for like splitting, you know, small logs. But anyway, since I said I was going to do a journal, I did that hike this morning down by the creek. Right now, when I packed up for this trip, I just shoved everything in the truck kind of haphazardly. And right now, I'm pulling everything out and Doing a little bit of housekeeping, some organizing, getting stuff more orderly, you know, making stuff kind of neat. I didn't want to be saddled with an ice chest. I've got my uh, stuff sitting over here. I don't really have anything that requires refrigeration. Um, it was cold enough last night that the soda got plenty cold. So I, I'll put it over here in the shade. It'll stay cool enough for me. I didn't want to be saddled with an ice chest because there's no place close by to get ice. You'd have to drive all the way down to Cache for that, and it's not worth it. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. Right now, it's 2 o'clock. I'm not sure. Huh. I definitely want to have a fire tonight. I'm not sure how the rest of the day is going to shake out. i got wood to cut up here for a while. That's what I'm doing right now. It's likely to be some wind noise here. I got restless. I spent about two and a half hours just working around camp, chopping firewood and just organizing. I was going to sit here until close to sunset and then come up here on Little Baldy, which is where I am now, but I I got restless, so I decided to come on up here. You see the camp is just right down there, and uh, well, I don't know if you can see it, my red truck is right in the middle of the screen. From camp, from camp, I didn't quite take the most direct route because I wasn't actually intending to come up here because there's been people up here all day. And uh, but I looked up here and I noticed nobody was up here, so I decided it'd be a good time. It's uh from camp to where I am now. It's not quite half a mile, and according to my GPS, it says it's 180 feet elevation gain from down to the campground to where I am now. That may or may not be accurate. That's uh, the mountain there off in the distance, right in the middle of the screen, the one that's you know over the, that's Mount Scott, 2,700 feet. That's the tallest mountain in the public sector. I think it's the second tallest mountain out here. And you can drive to the top of that thing. I've got videos where I've driven to the top and I'll drive up there later this week. That, uh, there's a fire burning over in the valley on the other side in the uh, military reservation. There's a grass fire burning. But that notch that you're seeing right there, the V-shaped notch, that's where uh, um, Kwana Creek goes. And that's where I was hiking this morning, following that notch back through there. I hiked back in there. Where I am now, I hiked about two miles back in there before I really couldn't get, and it took two hours just to do that. Everything I did this morning added up to 4.4 miles. I couldn't believe that. It took me three and a half hours to do 4.4 miles. It's just, it's just, I know you're getting tons of wind noise. I apologize. There's nothing to be done about it. I'm up here, you know, time to listen. You should be damn well. Well, you 
seeing everything. I have nothing else right now. This may be kind of a notion of how some of these gorges form out here. So you got this teeny little thing here. You go up there, you know, about 20 yards, 30 yards, and uh, there's nothing. But you come over here and all of a sudden it starts opening up and it drains down. The deepest part there is maybe 15 feet down to the level of the water is maybe 15 feet, not quite 20 feet, you know, and then it works its way down. I mean, that's only 20 feet, and it's only 15, 20 feet across, you know, at its widest point there. Give this a few thousand years, though, and this may be one of those big, wide gorges like the one I was hiking through this morning. You know, it doesn't take really much more than that for these things to, you know, to form. There, this thing froze up. This is Osage Lake. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not that many lakes. You see the dam right there. There's not much more than a concrete wall. And out of Osage, out of Osage Lake, apparently, is Quana Creek. Quana Parker Lake, over by Little Baldy. But this is Quana Creek. It flows back. That right there in the middle of the screen is that. That's that notch I was hiking through this morning. Got back a mile or so deep in that notch. And that's basically, as far as I know, that's what formed that notch is just this creek. You know, I mean, there's, it's not just this creek. There's not a lot of water flowing out of that one. Apparently there's a few of them that converge on that point because there was quite a bit of water flowing through there this morning. A lot more than it's coming through this thing. There's a lot of smoke in the air. I'm actually starting to smell it now. There's a, a fire burning over the, on the military reservation. And uh, the smoke is blowing this way. I hope they're attending to this fire. Ooh. I got me... I did a little, just a short little hike there. About two miles to add to what I did this morning. Got my fire set up, ready to go. Got a good amount of wood. I figure about three hours worth of wood there. See, the good thing is that wood will last a lot longer when instead of using the entire uh, fire ring, I'm just using that little pit. It really concentrates it. You get a, I mean, you get a really good fire, and it uses a lot less wood. But I've got a lot of wood cut and ready to go there. I figured out to use the zoom on this camera. You have to zoom before you start recording. It's like this. I can't zoom out anymore because it's it's pretty set from where you start recording. So if you want to zoom in, do it before you hit the record button. So now, for dinner tonight, I've got mashed potatoes and I got some beef gravy and I got some ground beef that I froze. That's going to be dinner. <laughs> it's uh, waiting for the sun to go down a bit more and I'm going to start my campfire. Much nicer today than yesterday. So, a lot of people here still. It's it's uh, Monday. I'm surprised at how many people are still here, but uh, apparently it's spring break in certain places.
Right now it's the uh, end of the second day. I'm sitting here in front of my campfire. What I want to do is a, uh, I want to get a nice campfire going and shoot about a five minute HD video of the campfire up close. I tried to earlier, but then the, uh, as soon as I tried to, the uh, military here at Fort Sill started flying around overhead doing their maneuvers, making a bunch of noise. And it was uh, coming through on the video. No way to avoid it. And I, uh, and also there's some people camping across from me that are getting loud at times. And if I do an HD video of a campfire, you know, I don't want to hear anything but the, you know, um, but the, uh, just the fire itself. I want to put the camera on a tripod where it doesn't move and just point it right at the campfire. Just let it run for like five minutes without disturbing anything at all. But I need to do that on a night where the military is not on maneuvers and I don't have a bunch of neighbors being really loud so that the only sounds you'll hear are the campfire itself. For now, it's about nine o'clock. As soon as my fire here burns out, I'm going to turn in and tomorrow I'll either go over to Elk Mountain or otherwise I've got another hike, a particular route planned. You know, I think I may go ahead and do that tomorrow. But, so, it's a nice clear night. I don't know if you can see. Well, you can see. Actually, I'm kind of surprised you can see that. The uh, dot, the white dot you see in the middle of the screen is actually Jupiter. I don't see, I can actually see it on my screen, so I guess you can see it, but I don't see any other stars actually on the screen. Jupiter's the only thing bright enough to come through. There's no moon out. So, until tomorrow.